ராம் கோபால் வர்மா இயக்கத்தில் வெளியாக உள்ள பொண்ணு படத்தின் பத்திரிகையாளர் சந்திப்பில் ராம் கோபால் வர்மா மற்றும் பூஜா கலந்து கொண்டு பேசியதை தற்பொழுது காணலாம் தேங்க்யூ ஆல் ஃபார் கமிங் சார் சி லட்கி ஃபம் இஸ் அ வெரி ஐ மீன் அம்பிஷியஸ் ஃபிலிம் ஆஃப் மை என்டர் கரியர் த ரீசன் பிகாஸ் ஐ வாஸ் வெரி ஹெவிலி இன்ஃப்ளூன்ஸ்ட் பை ப்ரூஸ்லி இன் மை காலேஜ் டேஸ் அண்ட் க்ரோயிங் இயர்ஸ் அண்ட் இஸ் பீன் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி ப்ரைமரி காசஸ் வை ஐ பிகேம் எ டிரெக்டர் பிகாஸ் for me bruce lee was not just about fighting there is a there is individualistic attitude there is a kind of a philosophy he has towards life and uh, i just wanted i mean that kind of drove me to making a very individualistic uh, self expression where i take where i took films as my call and then i never really had a thing that i want to make a martial arts film that's because uh, india really doesn't have a culture of martial arts that much uh, uh, at the time and uh, but uh, it uh, always was the back of my head so when much later after i became a director i kind of seen i mean the later day martial artists after the uh, death of bruce lee like from donny yen to jackie chan to various others uh, came jet lee tony ja i always used to wonder why they are not seeming to understand the original art of bruce lee in terms of how he interpreted the fighting arts and the style which he adapted they pretty much seemed to be in a classical mold whereas bruce lee was always against uh, classical styles because he thought each person has to develop his own individual style which is what the Uh, in the true meaning of original art is about so that is when i slowly started uh, thinking about can i attempt a martial arts film then uh, at a point of time one more thing i realized is you no know, bruce lee being a very small person he's like a 5 foot 7 inch guy with a body weight of hardly 60 kg but on screen he made me believe he can beat up people twice his size and multiple of them and it was very believable i think uh, a, a, a kind of a combination of the rage in his eyes and the fury and the speed and the agility and the extraordinary body he has so then i thought why not take it a step forward and make it into a girl because the whole point is a weak person cannot and a girl is weaker as uh, generally believed so that is when i fix up uh, the f- uh, basic plot line to be a female centric martial arts film so like i said earlier it was very difficult even to get a male martial art in india so female though it was much more tougher but uh, finally at a point of time i managed to get uh, puja its contact and she happens to be a taekwondo champion and took part in many national and international tournaments and then once i met her i got her trained in jeet kundo which is the bruce lee style yeah that's how the whole journey happened and after that i sent uh, the footage to a chinese company and uh, they were very impressed with puja skills and that was kind of really surprising because china is a motherland of martial arts like every greatest artist in china from bruce lee onwards came in came from china so them being impressed with the indian martial artists like puja was a huge uh, this thing for us so that's when it became indo chinese co production and uh, then lots of things and we've been shooting for the last 3 uh, years but uh, due to the covid thing and various other related issues it got delayed and finally we're looking for a simultaneous release date incidentally it is releasing on july 15th in china also in more than 40000 screens and so for me it is a very special film because i started my journey going on a cycle in hyderabad to a theater to watch enter the dragon when i didn't have money to buy the ticket and now what inspired me in that theater in hyderabad i managed to take that and convey in a certain film called ladki which is releasing in bruce lee's homeland in 40000 screens i think it's probably the greatest emotional high i've had in my career so far thank you vanakkam i want to thank you all for being here today 
I'm I'm I was extreme extremely excited when you know uh, we were coming here to visit Chennai, and uh, uh, this is my I think second third time visiting this beautiful uh, city. Uh, earlier when I came here, I came as a martial artist to uh, participate in competition, but today I'm here uh, as an actor. So uh, it's it's been a wonderful journey being a part of this film and uh, me, sir, and uh, the makers of this film, the Indian makers and Chinese makers. We take immense pride in presenting Ladki. So, as Sir mentioned earlier, that we are uh, we are releasing this film in China in 40,000 40, screens, and uh, overall counting is 47,000, and uh, still going up and up every day. So, I think uh, for a newcomer, uh, it's it's uh, like a dream come true thing happening for me and uh, sir is a dream maker he has introduced so many actors uh, uh, musicians and uh, directors in this industry so uh, you know as as a fan girl of rgv sir working with him uh, on his uh, dream project it's it's been a, a re like life changing journey for me uh, let me tell you something about myself uh, uh, I started my uh, martial arts career when I was very young, I think 7-8 years old and uh, I, I started on a very basic level like you know district state and then uh, international level. So I, I have represented India in Asian Games and uh, many other international tournaments and in 2014 I have received a government award from Maharashtra government for my lifetime achievement. So after this award, my father wanted me to uh, do a regular job in uh, in a government office or somewhere or become a policeman. So uh, I, I told him that, you know, this is my dream. Uh, this is uh, what I want to do in my life. I never thought that I will become an actor. But one day I, I got a call from sir's office and uh, they said that they're looking for a girl who can perform action. So uh, that time I didn't know that this film is a tribute to Bruce Lee. So I, I went ahead uh, to Sir's office with my father in Mumbai and uh, I gave him a small demo of whatever, you know, little I could do, some kicks and some punches and uh, Sir loved it and he said, uh, I think my search for Ladki uh, ends here with you and uh, uh, okay, you have 14 years of uh, experience in Taekwondo but this film is about Bruce Lee and his fighting style. So I want you to specifically train in Jeet Kondo. So from there we started, uh, from there I started learning Jeet Kondo and uh, we did a lot of test shoots and finally when Sir said that, okay, you're ready uh, to, you know, work in this film and do action and then uh, we started shooting for this film. So uh, since I don't have any acting background, Initially, we started shooting the film from action scenes, and uh, by the time we started shooting the acting scenes, I was I was pretty much comfortable in front of the camera. And uh, throughout this journey, throughout the shooting of Ladki, Sir guided me a lot, uh, how to act, how to how to cry, how my character will fight. Uh, regarding everything, the intensity on my face, everything uh, was explained to me uh, very beautifully and very uh, you know amazingly by sir and uh, it was clear in my head that uh, you know I, I'm playing a fan girl of Bruce Lee but in real life I'm a, I'm a fan of Bruce Lee and RGV sir as well so uh, it was an amazing opportunity and plus uh, there was some uh, burden or a responsibility was there on my shoulder that uh, uh, we are playing paying a tribute to such legendary uh, action action figure that is Bruce Lee so that thing was in my mind that there will be a lot of pressure but positive pressure so uh, I've I've given my best I feel I've given my heart and soul to this film and I want everyone to you know uh, come to the theaters on 15th of July and uh, please watch this film I'm, I'm sure uh, it will be a wonderful experience and you guys will love the film thank you so much for coming here again thank you <laughs>